From VOA Learning English, this is the Technology Report. 23-year-old Rio Safianto sells face masks or coverings for about 30 cents each in central Jakarta, Indonesia. He makes enough money to buy a cell phone that permits him to visit websites like Facebook and Twitter, as well as finding gaming applications or apps. Rio Safianto says every average person has a cell phone. He likes having one because he can talk to his family when he is away from home, and he is especially pleased that he can use it to listen to music. Mr. Safianto's phone has a keypad that makes it look like a Blackberry. It is known as a feature phone or smartphone light. That is because it is cheaper and cannot perform as many actions as more advanced phones like the Apple iPhone. These devices make up the majority of cell phones sold around the world. They have proven more successful in places like Indonesia, where some smartphones cost $700 or more. Although many lower income users are new to smartphones, they are quickly learning to use the technology. Eddie Tamboto is the managing director of the Jakarta office of the Boston Consulting Group. He explains the importance of having a mobile phone. It's basically the way they get to know about employment opportunities, the way they get to know about entrepreneurial opportunities. So the phone and the smartphone is not just convenience or indulgence, but actually it's a big part of a day-to-day -day necessity. Cell manufacturer Nokia offers a service called Life Tools. For a small monthly payment, the company sends text messages to farmers. The messages tell of weather conditions, crop prices, agricultural news, and give other advice. Local businessman Aldi Hario Pratomo has developed a way for small store owners to sell things like prepaid cell phone minutes and life insurance through text messages. Ruma is the company that developed the technology. The company is working on a system that will notify people about jobs in their area. At a recent digital technology show in Jakarta, banks offered no interest financing for credit card purchases. Marina Lutfiani manages a mobile shop in the area. She said almost everyone can buy a smartphone because of competitive financing and credit choices. She says Indonesians like to buy the latest devices. A report last June by Simeocast, a French internet research company, said Jakarta was the world's top tweeting city, ahead of Tokyo and London.